Hello, Bumpy Mix Quickums here, joined by Mutanot for our Divinity Original Sin Let's Play. This is episode 14, is it? 15? Do you remember? Eh, ish. Ish. You're saying ish. Next. I say ish upon your ish. I believe it's 14. It's episode 10. So it's episode 19. <laughs> Alright, so I've been wandering around looking for different things and items that I can pick up. Mutanot's been stealing stuff. Nope. We're trying to do our um, our vendoring type deal off camera so you guys don't get bored to tears from it. And are you oh. this? Uh oh. Something decided to happen. I guess I should get through this so I can go help Mutanot do whatever he's Sorry doing about that. About. The cat broke my stealing habits. Okay. Listen, I regard you as a friend, so I'll let this slide, but please don't go around borrowing those things any further. Clear? A cat said this? Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't steal in front of cats, considering you can talk to animals and all. Yeah, that's, <clears throat> that's a problem. Speaking of cats, Arius, or Arius, well, look what the cat dragged in. My brave troops were just telling me how they proudly vanquished the undead near the lighthouse. Did you get to witness my valiant soldiers in action? Should I, uh, really? I could have sworn I was the one who inspected the lighthouse. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. What in the hells is the meaning of this, you coward from your duty, yet try to claim reward? Despicable, unworthy of legion. Uh-oh. Sir, we, uh, it's just all the others had already perished. We feared for our lives. Hold your lying tongues before I have them ripped out. To the kitchens with a pair of you. You'll peel bloody potatoes till you die of monotony. Go. Go. Bye. I'm pretty sure they're not happy with me anymore. Or us, in general. The cat's talking to me again. Okay. Well... I am going to, to um. You're downstairs, still, or did I'm you wander? I'm upstairs. Did you wander? The cat oh, is really, oh. Uh, Arhu, and he's just using us as this guy. Okay. Well, I am gonna talk to you now. Are you done talking to the cat? The no, I'll, I'll take my leave. Uh, sure. All right. Well, let us speak. It's your turn. Speak. Ah, there you are. You were rather conspicuously absent during the last fight I was in. Well, whoop did he did it do Okay, sure. What does that mean? Or, sorry. Does that mean you had to cast that hide-behind-your-mother's-skirt spell? <laughs> I like it. I'll cast the head-up-your-arse spell if you don't hold your tongue. You back your cowardice up by... Scorn? Pathetic. <clears throat> well, I don't think either of us gained anything out of that. I'm going to talk to Medora now. So, the wizard's crafted a device intended to keep the undead at bay, has he? Little did he expect we recognize the hulking source sapphire he's using to fuel it. Oh, okay. We did? Oh, you get to talk to her. Careful now, comrades, and tread lightly. What do you do? There's no telling when the Madman's Doom device might gain sentience and turn its rays on the enemies of the Source. Uh, Source Sapphire? Gods help us. Do you think Arhu could have known the dark nature of the stone when he installed... I don't even know what's happening. When did this in When did this happen? I don't know. Okay. I know Arhu's the cat. Oh. He is? Oh, okay. Uh-oh. The magical sword would do anything to increase their own personal powers, be it offering their souls to demons. Uh oh. <laughs> Sacrificing his inner I hate my guy here. hates demons. But have no fear, comrades. Together we form an elite squad of unstoppable source hunting savvy. We shan't rest until Sisal is safe once more. Alright, well. Look, I'm not the one to stuff my nose where it ain't invited, but. Those hair-brained, or whose hair-brained idea was it to install a wizard to fight uh. dark magic and sisal? May as well invite a shark to protect minnows. <laughs> knowing this, uh, or how this kind, knowing his kind, knowing how his kind thrive on sticky, forget it, I can't read today. You get to read, I'm done. It's, it's me been a long day. It's a potatoes to find out Arhu himself is a sorcerer. Waiting. Oh, man. This place does look somewhat like a madman's workshop, doesn't it? We'll have to keep a close eye on our friend here. To judge Arhu a villain merely for being a wizard? Such... I don't even know what that word is. There we go. Has no place in our party. Chauvinism. Oh. There's I've no place in our seen, party. I've never seen that spelled out. 
Have you? Uh, well, apparently. Indeed, in the future, Majora, you have our permission to keep our your senselessly biased opinions to yourself. <laughs> nah, I'll be nicer. You call it chauvinism, I call it a keen eye. Majora's right that we ought to regard all magical beings with suspicion until we ferret out the true enemies of Cecil. That's fair, I suppose. I hope old Majora isn't driving a wedge into paradise. It may not seem like it, but I think we're all the same mind. Sure. Done. Okay, so... Angry cat doing angry cat stuff, huh? Greetings. You've been stealing stuff from him, huh? No, maybe. There's a universal controller instruction manual over there and a painting of a pig. One of them failed. Who is the mongrel that dares to question my engineering expertise? I take it the mutton question was referring to the Sparkmaster 5000. It isn't failing, it just become well, it became self-aware. Frightfully annoying when that happens. You know what, here's the remote access device with which I use to control it. There's a manual for that somewhere around here, too. Yours if you can find it. I really should invite Victoria one of these days so she can help me organize my mess of a library. Hey, so now we can take care of whatever that was. Who's what can we do first? about the end of the threatened side seal? In truth, I don't know. They've been climbing their way out of the ground for two years now, and for two years, the stalemate between them and the living has been dragging on at a weary pace indeed. Legion did a good job keeping it at bay, but I think it's fair to say that without my magic-infused ballistae, they have gotten the better of us by now. <laughs> Someone's responsible for the outbreak. Necromancers are at work, but who are they and where do they hide? Alas, that search for them is like searching for a single louse in a lion's fur. You don't see a weird bush walking around, do you? Nope. I didn't oh, a mere so. trifle for one the intellect of a feline and engineering skills of... Ah, uh, stupid. Bye. Anyone get a book we don't need? I could get this uh, book over here and some other. I did steal stuff. two plates. I've stolen quite a few. Ooh, broad skull. That sounds delicious. All right. Well, I guess we're done with that. Looks like the mortician has reason to suspect Major Cecil, Captain Orius, Everett, huh? and his of something. Okay. Yeah, we do. No idea what's happening, ladies and gentlemen. Another another perfect heist. <laughs> He's equal to soldier. A tried and true cat burglar. You're calling me a thief, are you? A base and petty criminal? More the fool more the fool you if you think you're better than me. There we go. It's been a long day. Hold your horse, I was complimenting you. To remain undetected and strike without being perceived requires great still, which you clearly have in abundance. Yeah I do. Fair Aww, we made up again. Dang it. I don't know what happened there, but we just found out something important, I think. Several important things. You randomly talking to cats. Alright, well, let's head down and see what we can come up with next. So we're not going to try and find the thing laying around the, th the, the thing in the thing? I don't know what that means. I don't know. And the instructions? Ooh, there's a... Uh, I thought... I think I have them on me. Um, Aris has a diary over here. Eh? Eh? I bet it talks about something important. Your man at arms level only allows you to learn up to level 3 type warrior skills. Huh. There's a basement too, we should go in the basement. Skill level 2. Skill level 2. Hmm. Greetings! Thank you, God's Diary. Sweet. What is that? Oops, I'm a detective. <laughs> That's a book. There's a key. Hold on, let me go get the key, too. It's up on his uh, bookshelf. And yeah, we'll see what Oops, I'm a Detective is all about as well. Alright, I'm going to the basement. So what started off as he doesn't a, have any gold. Darn it! Yeah, I know. What started off as a vendor uh, exchange turned into me murdering a bunch of stuff. Or not murdering, but I was getting into a lot of conversations and other random things happening. So, yeah. All right, let's see what "Oops, I'm a Detective" is. Read. "Oops, I'm a Detective: Solving Crimes for the Intellectually Disadvantaged" by Alana Scullish. Step one, inspect the body. Step two, investigate the crime scene and collect evidence. Step three, interrogate uh, suspects. 
Uh, it's been a long day. I can't read. I'm surprised I can even talk today. It's great. It's great. Alright, the Ooh. Universal Controller Instruction Manual. Jahan's Gabisons cost 22,000 gold. I sold that to him for like 300. So that they're jerk. definitely marking it up. Yeah, for reals. Welcome to the Aru Sparkmaster 5000 Universal Controller Instruction Manual. With a Universal Controller in hand, you can give your beloved weapon of mass destruction various commands. Here are some of our customers' favorites. Angry, happy, angry, berserk mode. Angry, angry, sleepy, self-destruct mode. Sleepy, sleepy, happy, weapons deactivation mode. Angry, 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 universal controller deactivation mode. Happy, happy, angry, happy, angry, party angry. mode. Woo! Have fun. I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds really stupid. Oh, do you hear that clinking? I think someone's got keys in their pocket. Goodbye! Goodbye! <laughs> So we should probably try and steal from this guardsman then. Here, I'm gonna let you read his diary. I'm sending it to you. You can read it later. All right, you can steal the key, the guardsman's keys, and sneak and steal them. What direction is he facing? Towards the door. Hmm. He has his back turned to you right now. Oh, the other guard's watching though. You need to get the other guard to look away. I'm distracting him. Yeah, but he you have him distracted looking at them. You need to get behind him or something. And then like like in the corner. That that might work. Try it there. Are you talking to him? He didn't really turn towards me, but I tried. Source hunter, not a single non legionary is in the treasure and possibly a pit again get going extra deep in such places. Bye. Uh oh, I failed. What? I tried to pickpocket. It didn't work. Who's that guy? What? He, r really? He just randomly ran from outside the map. This is probably not good. Do we stand a chance against these guys? Well, they are only level three-ish. Seems like it. See if you can freeze maybe the archer in the back over there. I can't freeze anyone without rain. Really? Correct. How come? It's just how it works. Okay. Can't do this. That might be good. Might not be. I'm not sure. We'll find out here in a moment. Back up just a little bit. I heard Oh, him. he's playing the he's playing the instrument. Oh gosh. The door is turned, okay. Hope this isn't murder my own guy. Oh oh my gosh, I did a ninety five critical hit on someone. That's impressive. And they're still standing. They're pretty weak though. Alright, well let's see one off with your dude. If I can do this. That worked out, hey. Look at me doing stuff. I didn't finish anybody, but I hurt all of them, and I think I might have skipped their turns? I know I have a dude under my foot you probably can't target. Yeah. I'd say blinding might be a better I'll idea. I'll be careful. Yeah. There you go. That did look like the most dangerous of them. Oh, he quaffed a potion. Ah, stupid quaffer. Quaffer! What? Ow. That wasn't eh. very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This is going surprisingly well. I know. I totally thought I was going to get us all killed here. I have a 92% chance to hit him, too. Hey, he's chilled. Can you freeze him now, you think? Probably. I mean, Mattered. assuming he's alive after. I, I'm just getting my turn because I don't think I'll be able to shoot him. Okay. Try to freeze him, I guess. Is He, he is still chilled, so. I don't know how your skills work, so. Yeah, if he's not already chilled, he just gets chilled the first time. Or wet. So if he's wet, he'll get frozen. But if he's, <laughs> yeah, that's creepy. Ooh, I feel blessed. Smack that fool. 
You think crushing fist would do more to a frozen target? Apparently not. But it did enough. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> We're now murderers. Great. We hate demons, but we don't mind killing a few guards doing their job. Hey, you know. Wow. There's a lot of jail keys laying around. I am going to let you pick up all of that stuff. That looks like it's all you, and I want nothing to do with it because I'm innocent. Well, then I'm going to send you some crap. Why? Sell. Don't I, didn't I just get a jail key? Where is the jail key? Hmm. Weakening arrow. Pretty sure I just picked up the jail key. I don't Which know where one? it went. There's a ton of them. No, I know, but I picked up one and I don't see them in my inventory anymore. I like the Persian treasure key the best. That should be my prison. Prison. See, you said it. Now I have to say it. Prison treasure key should be mine. Oh, my lock picking level's too low, and I broke the lock pick. Oh. Okay. There's a journal in here and a bucket. I am not going near that bucket in a jail cell. Sorry, that's just not going to happen. I know what that's used for. I tell you, I've never seen so many riches in one place. You're in a jail cell. I'm kind of nervous. It still says I'm stealing. I'm gonna sneak and steal. That's weird. I'm not stealing anything. That is strange. I just opened the treasure room, though. Some bread on the table. Oh, it does say I'm still stealing the bread, too. Oh, I can pick up the washing tub and basin. It's uh, interesting. Was anything good in the chest? Nope. Or maybe. Well, there's no. Ooh, there's a jailer's cookbook. That might be good for something. Do you have a keg tapper? I'll totally tap this keg, man. Keg man. Creepy. I did find a, a charming arrowhead. I'm gonna see what look at the loot I got. I picked up some armor and some other such nonsense. Uh see if we can get in that last door right there at the to your right. Creepy. Hmm. I will charge through the door, or not. Here, sending you an, an, a, something to identify. Okay. Goodbye! And I had a cake volume, too. Identify. And burn my eye skill book. Uh. Nice. It's a mighty old half pike. I will there send you go. It back Here's to a you. chance to set warm status. I can already do that. That's super fun. Everybody be warm. Oh, I had the remote. Oh, you had the remote. Hey, there's uh, there's nothing really else in here. I wonder if we should even go upstairs now or if we're going to get murdered for murdering everyone in the prison. You know, for a very secure prison, there's nobody in the prison. Ooh, I didn't. I didn't loot the prison skeleton. What is wrong with me? Anybody home? Uh, really? Well, why are you running around with Jahan, by the way? Is that your new thing? You're just gonna run around with Jahan and be like, Jahan don't live here no more! Nothing under the ordinary happened down there. Yeah, your guys, I think they all died of a plague. Oh, it was yeah. fire and ash and all sorts of stuff. Ooh, we can so, talk about, um, there's someone the Legion should arrest. Uh, let's discuss the undead. That sounds like a less painful thing. Unless he's going to talk to his soldiers we just murdered. <laughs> Listen, you may be here for other matters entirely, but if there is one useful thing you can actually do around here, it's to stick your nose into the affairs of the undead. 
The stench will likely make you gasp for air, but between you and me, those seven worthless gods up there, it's about time someone other than the Legion gives this charade a shot. I can only hope that some fresh ideas are coursing through your that sourced, obsessed brain of yours, and that they will take root before the undead scoop some of the brains out from your shattered skulls. Yeah. They seem to be a bit weaker in the west, so that's a good place to start if you want to flex your muscles. No, nope, I'm I'm good. I, I think I'd rather just not be here anymore. Farewell! Mostly because if you figure out what we've done, we're all going to die. I mean, I don't know that we know that for sure. I, it, it, it's a pretty, pretty, good, um, pretty good idea that that's, that's how things are going to play out. Alright, so let's see here. She is level 5 now. Which I am okay with. Which I'm okay with. 29 to 58. Doesn't have the critical strike damage. Oh, it's a one-handed weapon, too. Well, let me send that back to me. Oh, this is better than what she's wearing now, too. It's level 5 armor. Alright, well, we'll equip her with that. Okay, so she got some stuff to get rid of, and she's got the pike that she can use as well, which is 29 to 76 with 4 to 12 fire damage, and it gives her a bonus to HP. So that is definitely Ooh. better. Ooh! You should come to where I'm at. Are you? Did you leave the town? No, I'm at the quartermaster over off and away, to just a little bit. Where? You have to tell me, because on my map okay. you're an arrow 100 miles. When away. I left the building, I headed left towards the drill sergeant. And then there's a building right there. Now I'm upstairs talking to the quartermaster. There's a building to the left of the quartermaster. I'll come outside in just a second. Say, so, because I'm or the the drill She's master, got, the drill like, sergeant. Because I'm standing next to the drill of sergeant. Armor. Probably something good. I don't see any other buildings around here. Oh, over there. Okay. Further west. Are you closing doors on us? So who are you? Who did you? Oh, you went upstairs. Okay. Yeah, she's got some good loot up here. Greetings. Oh my goodness. Switch back to my guy. Here we go. Yep, there's a bow that's better. I can't talk to her. Oh, there we go. because I'm talking to her, probably. Oh, maybe. I thought we could both talk to the same person. Hmm. You're, you're a pretty big fan of silver arrows and fire arrows and things like that? I'm a fair fan. Fair fan. Ooh, an old metal shield. That's exciting. Decorated two-handed, uh, let's see, <clears throat> one-handed sword, old two-handed battle axe, old fire, ooh, oh no, you're, you're, you're better off than that is, alright, well I got you some arrows, I'll, I'll transfer, that bow's good. transfer you, those over to you in just a second, darn it, do you have any lockpicks? I don't. All right. Well, let's uh, oh, one button. Let's see here. Let's get you the arrows. So I need to figure out a way to uh, craft your arrows. Yeah, yeah. That's something I'll have to look into one day. You're very bad at. Ooh, it's a cooking pot for cooking. Sweet. Since when? Jailer's cookbook. How to prepare delicious meals for prisoners by Bocus. This book contains 1,001 recipes, mostly based on rat meat as the main ingredient. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a little funny. Well, I got a new shield, but I'm not quite high enough level to use it. I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. It doesn't seem to negate anything on me. Well, I suppose I'll use it. I get minus 0.38 movement as opposed to minus 0.22 movement. 
I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but I assume it's a something. But we'll see. We will see while you're fiddling around. Darn right I'm fiddling around. Adora She's selling Roller's Diary, but I'm not. Be able to do her next level of stuff, but I guess not. I guess we need another level beyond that. Some weapons. So you can't talk to her at all, huh? Not until you're done talking to her. That sucks. You done talking to her yet? <laughs> Soon. Soon. My goodness. I might end up throwing a fireball on you. Just Let saying. you hog her. I found her. You did, but you don't need any of that stuff because you're not a warrior. Well, there's a cool helmet. Only warriors need to speak to her. So basically, we spent the entire time walking around town doing things we shouldn't have been doing, probably. It's not true. We totally fought some people. Huh? I, like I said, doing things we probably shouldn't have been doing. You don't know that for sure. I don't know anything for certain. Let's call a spade a spade. And a shoehorn a shoehorn, but it doesn't change things. You're probably right. Alright, she's all yours for now. Bye! Bye! Alright, give me a moment. I'll send that to Medora. Right, we're gonna go to Medora, we're gonna go to use. She can't use it either, huh? That's interesting. Okay, so she sells seashells down by the seashore, huh? It's interesting. It's not a bad double-headed axe. She does seem to sell you a bunch of arrows, too. I have a better shield. Blessed old leather armor of training. Why didn't you get that? That looks like that's going to be way better than what you're using. I have ten. Oh. So you have plus one to dexterity bodybuilding, 26 hit points, and plus five to poison resistance? Because I have plus five to poison, plus one to initiative, and plus 30 movement. Eh, I've heard it both ways. Alright, um... Yeah, she doesn't really have much, does she? She's got a lot of money, though, that I'm going to totally pilfer from her. And that is a pretty sick hat. Right? So that hat is going to be something that I apparently am going to need... To come up with enough cash to get. Which I think I'll be able to do. Well, looks like I have a decent one handed uh, weapon, too, now. Nice. Well, I'm gonna sell some tea. Well, do we, do we wanna sell ingredients? I mean. Why not? Get rid of these bows that you gave me. And this extra armor that we don't need. And I'm pretty sure the green axe. We don't need that. Uh, what is your fire? Your staff on? Oh my gosh, I'm crafting something. Oh, okay. What does the staff on your fire guy do, or on uh, Jahan do? Ten to twenty-six. Ten to twenty-six. I have eleven to twenty-seven. I will. S I I have a twelve to thirty-one. Oh, I have I, I haven't equipped yet, so I'll just, just save it. Put it aside then. I haven't got a chance to look at the stuff for him. That over there. I feel as though there should be a little bit more that we're able to get. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. And in fact, I might even switch to that. I'm not sure. Uh, weapon wise, let's see. We have a plate that's worth almost nothing, quite a bit of food. I sold most things. This this two-handed pike requires strength. Who has strength? It'd be Medora. You would have to send it to. She's the All one right, that. Now. She's the one that would uh, benefit the most from it. All right. I think that's about it. I mean, maybe put that into the mix. Maybe these. Still not quite enough. I don't want any of this stuff. 
There we go. And then we'll balance it with gold, and boom, I have the new hat. And I am pretty happy for it. Alright, so I'm going to end with her. I'll open my inventory. I'll swap over my inventory, and uh, put on my new hat when I get one more strength point. Oh. Actually, two more strength points. Wow. I am a weak individual. Adora could get one more strength and she'd be able to wear it. Well, that's okay. That is okay. It is now set in stone, or in my backpack at least. Um, Alright, if you're done, I'm going to have Jahan talk to her. Yeah, Please. I'm done. Go ahead. Greetings. Yeah. He's going to sell a few things. When I level, I'll be able to use the new axe to replace my current weapon, which is sweet. All right, and I think at this point, I mean, I should be level five. Am I only level four? Oh no, there we go. Okay, I'm almost level five. I need like a tenth, of, like one experience to trigger it. Not quite that low, but I mean, it's really close. So I guess we should explore a little bit more around and see if we can. Uh, See if we can get the stuff. You said the stuff. The stuff. See if we can get some experience. Some exploration XP. Because if we do... Are you almost leveled up? The, yeah, I'm really, really close. I just need a tiny bit more. Well, either way, it's not too, too bad. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to try to head out this gate. Maybe just walking around there will give me... Something. Probably trigger a bunch of people to come eat my soul. It's fine. My soul's... It's chewy. It'll take them a while. Fair enough. Is your soul chewy? Do you know? I try not to ever let it be chewy, but... Sure, it could happen. Well, you know. It means you're healthy. Is that what the doctor told you? Sure. Who said anything about a doctor? Oh, gosh. Ooh, there's some weird thing over here. What? Well, we should go over there. Those things are, like, undead. That's right, Jahan. Send me all your money. <laughs> I found some augmenter. Well, I gotta say... I'm a little concerned here. Found that other bridge that you found. Hey. And we're gonna break off the episode pretty soon, but not quite yet. I can yet. finally add an attack to my bow. You can add an attack? Oh, nice. I have two of all weapon points available. Sweet, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do too when I level. If that ever happens. Saving works. If it ever happens. I think we need to do some more exploratory, uh. Aww things. Actually, yes, come out here. We'll we'll do... We'll, we'll break out the episode at the bridge. So come on out, and then in the next episode we'll go across the bridge and at? do battle. Um, there's a gate to the east, just east of the building area. Right um... E not really, no. You're heading west. That's not east. You can follow that around. That'll lead back. If you went right just outside the building, or if you were coming out of the building and you were the character, you would hang a left. You know how that is. Uh, you should see the gate just over there. Oh, that's a... What is that, a carnelation or something? What do they call those things? Something. That gate. If you just walk out, you follow the road... Ah, uh -huh, figures. I was touching it. Actually, follow the ravine to the left. Like, if you go out and then down, follow the ravine. Or you can probably head west along the road, either way. And then north. I'll meet you over by the crossroads. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Not a whole lot of action. We may have accidentally murdered a bunch of jailers. There's no way to be sure. May or may not have been innocent. I can't know. I mean, the, you know, people abuse prisoners all the time. It's a real problem. And I felt like finally we had to do something because nobody else would. 
But in the next episode, combat! Level 5, and who knows what else. Any final thoughts? Stealing is fun. Stealing. Unless it's in front of a cat. Stealing is fun, and cats are evil. Alright guys, we'll see you soon. Until then, I'm Bumpy McSquiggums, he's Mutanot, and we will see you later. Thank you.